10 Worst Cases of Corporate Greed in U.S. History Sendent Corporation In 1998 an accounting fraud case caused $14 billion to get taken from the company. The company chairman, Walter Forbes was sentenced to 12 years in prison. Enron, 2001, lost $78 billion, the company built assets, such as a power plants, then falsely projected profit on its books, even though the company had not made one dime from the asset. Jeff Skilling was sentenced to 24 years. WorldCom, 2001, lost $11 billion. Hiding its falling profitability, WorldCom inflated net income and cash flow by recording expenses as investments, reporting a profit of $1.4 billion, instead of a net loss. Bernie Ebers is serving 25 years. Health South, 2003. Problems surfaced after the CEO sold $75 million in stock several days before the company posted a large loss. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission accused Health South of an accounting scandal. Richard Scrush got 110 years. Freddie Mac, 2003. Whilst most other companies on our list projected higher profits, Freddie Mac being understated its profits by nearly $5 billion over three years. The nation's second largest buyer of home mortgages had to pay back $750,000 in fines. Fannie Mae, 2004. The U.S. federally chartered company that buys home mortgages and sells them as securities, Freddie Mac's bigger sibling company, manipulated accounting to collect millions of dollars to deceive investors. Received a $400 million fine. Bernard Madoff, 2008. Operator of the largest Ponzi scheme in world history, and the largest financial fraud in U.S. history. Madoff is serving 150 years in prison. Washington Mutual, 2008. The company was setting up millions of borrowers for foreclosure, while booking illusory short-term profits and paying out giant bonuses for its employees and executives. No criminal charge was received. Lehman Brothers, 2008. Lost $639 billion in risky investments then tried to hide the losses by filing for bankruptcy. No criminal charges. Last on our list is. Alan Stanford, 2009. It was revealed that Alan had grossly misinformed his 50,000 investors about the level of professional management that they were receiving. He received 110 years in prison. Be smart, and know your investments. Know who you're doing business with, and keep track of the company's executive changeovers. These people are often in control of a lot of your money. Comment your thoughts below. Share and subscribe to Dispatch Weekly.